Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the Market Outlook. Gaurang Shah here from Jujit Financial Services. Uh, beginning of the week uh, on a subdued note and uh, we are virtually testing the lows uh, that we have witnessed in the last couple of months. Uh, as I speak to you, 58,980 is the level of Sensex. Nifty is trading at somewhere around 17,580. And the largest uh, contributor on the downside, that is Nifty Bank, is trading at about 37,400 or thereabouts. Uh, weakness uh, visible on the broader markets as well, that is uh, mid cap and large cap, uh, and along with that, small cap. And uh, the curtains down for the second quarter earnings uh, senses that uh, news flows from the global arena has largely to do with what is uh, witnessed at our end. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there are some rising number of uh, the pandemic cases uh, coming in from uh, Germany, etc., which could lead to a little bit of downside. Uh, lack of earnings, uh, uh, lack of trigger from the domestic front could also be one of the reasons why we are witnessing. And not to forget, friends, uh, after seeing levels of 62,200 on the Sensex, the highest level I'm talking about, and 18,600 on the Nifty Spot, uh, we did manage to stay afloat for some time. But then I think uh, the froth was too much on the street and the expectation was large. Uh, views were taking a one-way direction and there was a lot of overcrowding. And uh, our understanding is that all, need, all these things need to be bought down. Uh, along with that, friends, uh, the spate of IPOs and the expectation of listing gains also took a beating with the uh, downward reaction of some of the recently listed IPOs. Oh, our sense is that if you are a trader, you need to worry. If you are an investor, I think these are great times to invest in great companies. And if you already invested, if you have an investable amount, uh, I think you could uh, allocate even more capital uh, to those uh, fundamentally strong companies with uh, strong business visibility and earnings capabilities. Having said that, uh, rupee has gained strength in the last couple of days, uh, 74.38 as I speak to you against the dollar. And uh, the good news is that uh, Brent and NYMEX uh, from the elevated levels of 84 and 85 uh, dollars per barrel, we are seeing 78.85 dollars per barrel on Brent and 75.98 dollars a barrel on NYMEX. So these are good news. Uh, weak crude oil along with that a little bit of stronger rupee uh, augurs well for the uh, health of our economy. Having said that, uh, largest contributor on the downside has been Bank Nifty led by some other sectors and more importantly not to forget friends, uh, this week we will see uh, FNO expiry and that will lead to a little bit of choppiness, volatility as we go and approach the FNO expiry. But uh, these are the levels that we have witnessed many times in the last couple of months. And I think we should not be disheartened. And always remember one thing, when a lot of opinions are on one side, then the market does the opposite. And that's what exactly is happening. So as a fundamental analyst, I expect uh, the markets to stay this way at least till the expiry. And possibly we might find the bottom by the time we end this week. And by next week, there could be a little bit of recovery. But don't expect anything magical. I think the longer time we spend consolidating like this, the stronger base is made. And uh, with that view, I think uh, we've spoken about uh, banking and finance as a sector. We've spoken about autos. IT is something that will definitely throw a lot of visibility in terms of earnings. And one sector that has taken a little bit of backseat because of cost and put pressure and margin pressure, FMCG, should also come back with the kind of uh, demand that we see going up. So buy on dips should be your strategy. I don't think uh, there are larger downside, at least given the backdrop of news flows that we've had. But it was also prudent to expect a little bit of sanity to return into the market, a little bit of cleansing, uh, which was required with excess coming into it and expectation going one side. Uh, it was all, and of course, not to forget the demand for IPO and the uh, run for listing gains that we saw. So all this needed to be settled down and that's what exactly is happening. Uh, but uh, investors from a long term point of view, uh, concentrate on IT, uh, banks, both uh, first private and then select public uh, banks 
large cap public banks, uh, stronger NBFCs, autos. I think uh, since the last time we've spoken a couple, of, a couple of times, there's been magical recovery, and this recovery should continue with chip shortages. Uh, could be nearing its end in the next couple of quarters and uh, demand coming back with new launches and along with that trends i think cement metal and uh, fmcg so broadly these are some five six sectors that you should look at primarily large cap in mind and possibly then mid cap stocks with the uh, earnings visibility and capable management thank you very much for your patience hearing i'll see you again next week uh, till then uh, stay home stay safe and uh, stay healthy Thank you very much. Bye-bye.